everyone, Sherlock Phantom One here, and here we are, back with another rant video on another obscure horror movie. Oh, I'm sorry, Christmas movie. So let's talk about Anna and the Apocalypse. Well, I'd say the first three words to best describe this film right away are music, zombies, and huh? I feel like this movie is what would happen if the Scouts Guide and Shaun of the Dead directors got together got drunk, and while writing the script, listen to any 2000s kid's iPod shuffle. Okay, honestly, the music isn't that bad. It's not even an awful film. It's just, it's complicated. So here, let's just break it down. Some pros about this movie are, the music aspect is pretty good, and most of the songs were somewhat catchy and enjoyable, if not mildly forgettable. The acting was okay for an under-the-radar horror comedy flick, and there were some heart-tugging moments and some interesting jokes worked in. However, where the film falls flat for me is the story, which is one we've seen done to death, with the whiny teen who wants freedom from her gray, boring life and dreams of adventure, only to be shot down real quick when shit hits the fan, and then realize that their life wasn't actually all that bad before. And then we have the two friends who ultimately find that they have more feelings towards each other than they thought before. And the awkward jerk character and the main character apparently have a history that only becomes relevant during a not-so-good time to talk about. But most of all, what the hell is wrong with this school? First off, the teacher guy is so creepy and off-putting, kinda makes me wonder why anyone would put him in charge in the first place. And then there's the fact that during this Christmas play, which apparently had no narrative for some reason, which basically turns into a teenage girl talking about how much she wants to get with Santa, I guess? Not to mention it has probably one of the dumbest solutions to sneaking past zombies scenes I've ever seen. But all in all, this movie was something a little different, and I know it seems like I'm being rather harsh, thus meaning I must not have enjoyed any of it. But actually, as I said before, there are some interesting parts to this film. All in all, would I watch it again, though? Probably not. And does it take a while to get into the zombie encounters? Yeah. But to be honest, this film is alright. Nothing special, nothing awful, just meh. And for an under-the-radar film, I feel that's okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this rant, and be sure to like and subscribe for more, and thanks so much for watching and sticking around till the end. But for now, this is Sherlock Phantom 1 signing off. Bye guys! <laughs>